you were to go back to the hand, you actually can hear me say a la Vanessa Russo kind of off mic. And then just, you know, get it in. So, uh, and Vanessa then I Russo actually laugh with the people. Vanessa Russo people of, Badger Pro. of Big Brother and Go Daddy fame. Yes, and she's a DJ with her. Everyone says they always hate their aces. I actually know uh, a friend of mine actually owns the house in Vegas that she's running. I know that house. That's where Joey used to live for some... Yeah, over the, one of the summers. Yeah, that, yeah. The, there were epic parties there. You know who owns it? Uh, yeah, I, for, I forget his name. He's a legend on Big Brother. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah. But, yeah, I um, that's where uh, I met the friend of uh, of Lion. And oh, really? Yeah, they, they were one of the the parties was so epic they had a slip and slide that was went into beer pump beer uh, flip cup have you seen those videos of people playing flip cup and slip and slide or no best game ever i was mvp wow flip, definitely, flip cup ever and slip and slide at the same time well yeah so you would you would flip cup and then you'd run on the on the slide and then you'd come back oh and, and do the next like, round yeah and then oh, someone sick. else would go it would be like you know five on five sounds like a fun way to get drunk it was epic. I like this spot for Daniel here. Um, betting this flop, like you're not gonna have the best hand most of the time, but you can. Uh, you can continue on a lot of turn cards, a six, a seven, a club. Yeah, and you, you, there's no showdown value, and you don't mind just like it's a hand I I happily have on my C bet range. Oh, did he lead though? Or was it? Uh, uh, I missed the preflop action. So, but like, uh, plus three. We so Austin here. probably oh, raised, Mike. unless there was someone else in the pot. Yeah, I think it just went. He, I think he just led. Uh, it's the first he went time raise, I, call, call. And I think that's the first time I've ever seen is really wrong without a sunglasses on. But your wife said she'd wait up for me. Glasses on and sunglasses on his head. Your wife said she'd wait up for me. And look at this, queen of clubs on the turn. So now Daniel can rep a queen here. He has a pair and a flush draw. Um, this would actually be a great spot. I mean, obviously we can see the cards, but it would be a, an interesting spot for Daniel to lead here. Again, there's a lot of good rivers for him. What's more likely, Austin and Ron having aces or queen? I feel like Austin, uh, Ron most likely has an ace. Austin may be king queen. That's about it. But he still has Ron on back. So uh, yeah, like either one could have either card. Yeah, but, but no, way not. more likely they have an ace. 12 minutes. No, you're not. Would you no, agree? It's so, an ace, yeah. yeah so then well, I there's just more combinations of aces. Yeah, so what I'm saying is I, I agree with you that I like a lead from Daniel. It's a good way to see the river as well. Cause it's kind of, yeah, like this is awkward now. Now he has to... That's also another reason. A great bet by Ron. I mean, yeah, he's... I mean, he's now betting for protection because he just doesn't want to call a river bet. Uh, and now, what does Daniel do here? And that's the problem. If you're going to lead that flop, you got to continue repping it and lead the turn. Leading the flop and then giving up on a card that's actually good for your range is uh, a little backwards. You know, yeah, you got called twice, and that's what he's worried about. But now you're going to have to fold on a flush draw board. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, he should check shove here. I, I would like that play and just hope that Ron doesn't have a queen. Noise and vibration for the camera equipment. Yeah, but he's gonna that, call this now. Is, this is the worst option. Yeah, I mean, it, he's just uh, he's in a weird. He's put himself in a weird spot by leading the flop yeah. and checking the turn. Lead the flop if you're if you're, gonna, if you're gonna lead the flop. I think betting the turn is pretty sweet, and then shoving the river also sweet. Now Jack in the river, and he has no showdown value. And uh, I mean, he could check call shove, which would be cool, but no, no, also no. why would he want to check call shove? He's got the clubs in his hand. He beats nothing, right? Well, I mean, this is. I'm just saying this because he he check he he played a hand kind of like uh, I wouldn't play this hand like you know I wouldn't check call I would lead the turn but I'm saying is that if he does shove oh you're saying shove I think you said check call no 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 oh, oh right I'm saying check yeah, call yeah, yeah. would be bad yeah. no if he decided shoving to like the, randomly just yeah shove just the shove. river is fine like I I that would not be the worst thing that's, because you have no showdown value and you could just hope that Ron folds an ace there's that's something I've like never. 18? I, I honestly don't do it's not and and especially in a tournament you wouldn't do that yeah I mean, occasionally you know if there's certain runouts that you know, four straight or something like that but on this board I'm, I'll never make this play but I do think that um, it's it's just it's it's definitely maniacal.
Hmm. Yeah, he bet 1,800. Oh, so Daniel's actually deeper. Okay, I thought Daniel was short and would have the shot. So we had to adjust the stack in the river. That yeah, makes more really sense. But still, even like the bet of now, now this play makes a lot more sense. Uh, uh, the, if Daniel had plans to bluff river uh, when he check calls the turn, if he bricks, if the club doesn't come on the river, then I don't mind this as much. I thought he was shorter than this, but yeah. you see now he has 5,400 because he added 5K. So he had uh, at some point. So he bets 18 with 36 behind. This is actually a really creative well, play now. And if he ranges Ron on an ace, <laughs> uh, I think you know, and, and doesn't think I mean, Ron has a queen, right, Josh. right? I mean, he's only going to get called by a queen here run. most of the time. What? Because Ron would have checked back. How are we going to do this? Do uh, we have a panel? Uh, hand that isn't an ace or queen. So it's not like Ron ever has a straight. Like you line up like Barry Jack. Like Barry's opinion. Do you think you can dance? You know, you're really just losing to a queen, right? Ron could have queen jack. This is going to be a combination of those. And you can get an ace to fold at least half the time. Uh, I don't hate this play. Uh, I'm not saying I would do it very often. Uh, I would yeah, pick his I, exact line. That's something that I do, but like it could work. I I, I think that yeah, I think bet 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 turn bet river just gets the job done equally. This seems way like a little more unnecessary. It's also a leveling war because um, Daniel shouldn't be trying to get someone to fold an ace on this board on an ace side board. And yeah, Ron should uh, know that Daniel really wouldn't try to get Ron to fold an ace. Yeah, and also, Daniel doesn't have many bluffs here. Right, on an ace-queen jack he, board? He's calling. Oh, he made the call! He's calling because he thinks he... Wow, wow. what a call! Is Does sick. he think that he's chopping, though? Yeah, I think that's like kind of what he thought. Wow, what a what an amazing call by Israeli Ron. I mean, that was a crazy hand. There was a lot of weird, weird things going on in that hand. I mean, Daniel leading flop, Daniel checking turn, turn. Ron betting turn, sounds like Daniel, that turn. That Daniel that leading that river. I mean, there's a lot of weird things that happen in that hand, and I have no idea how Israeli Ron sniffed it out, but uh, that is probably the call of the night. That was, well, the um, one with Barry Wood, they're both up there, both the, of those The Josh hands. one? Yeah, the one where yeah, he called with, Josh like, with a nine. second pair. Yeah, uh, yeah, three. that one was really good, too. This yeah. one was uh, yeah. nine yeah. at all. Like yeah. you said, people aren't supposed to be bluffing on an ace queen yeah. and jack board. I don't think Ron, no, Ron is not a calling station. That's why it's, no, he's not. it's no. an impressive call. Ron folds a lot in that spot on the river. Yes, Ron right. hates making that call. I expected Maybe it. Maybe uh, two years ago or a year ago, Israeli Ron was a calling station? No, you have not been watching Israeli Ron enough. Israeli Ron... Uh,